Hey YouTube, welcome back to my video. So there's a new update and a saber simulator. So it says the Warlord price reduced, Xbox fixes, boosts in shop, exploit slash bug patches, new backpacks, fixed numbers, and badges. So the things that really matter in this update are the new backpacks and the boosts in the shop so we're going to be checking that out i'm not a pro in this game since right now i'm trying to get pro in lifting simulator since lifting simulator has a lot more stuff but also this game it gets to a point where you have to click a whole bunch it's basically weightlifting or lifting simulator but with lightsabers because if you look it has a sword a dna and class but it is still different kind of but like it's pretty cool because they have a whole bunch of different backpacks so yeah they have new dna and we're going to check out what they mean by boosts in the shop because I do not see any sort of boosts. Or maybe they're talking about the Robux shop. Oh, they added new ways to make Robux. So they have auto swing, which is basically you could auto click. So. That seems way too expensive to do that. And times 10 health, you could just stay in the safe zone. Auto sell, you could just stand right out the sell thing. And the save your thing, now that seems pretty useful. Because you can keep your kill streak after dying, but it's 200 Robux just for one life. So it's all pretty expensive. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. And uh, let me know also if I should live stream this game and lifting a simulator. Because it would be pretty fun to do that. So we just need to get... I'm not sure how much the night next lightsaber cost to be honest because i have twenty eight thousand gold so the next one is only eight thousand yeah we can definitely get that and then the next one after that is twelve thousand so we can get that also now we get 110 per swing and i wonder if it was the same person that made this game and weightlifting simulator i don't think it was they're pretty simu similar though but I might consider buying the Infinite DNA Game Pass just because, well, if I live stream, then I want to be pro, so. But just like on Lifting Simulator, the backpacks or DNA can hold a whole bunch of strength. And... The next lightsaber costs... 19,000 so I'm gonna need to get a full DNA and then 2,000 more so right now I'm gonna have to choose lifting simulator over this game though because a lifting simulator doesn't have boosts and it's kinda more fair, but still a lot can be done with Robux. But there we have 17,000 now. So we just need to get 19,000 to get the next lightsaber. It's gonna be pretty good. Okay. Now let's get the flower lightsaber. Oh, 19.8k. I have 19.78k. 
Okay, now I have 20k, so that's gonna be enough. And the next one only does 185, and it's like one and a half times the price. 29,000. I'm gonna have to buy a new DNA soon so I can store more strength. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys all of the cool stuff in the update. So I'm gonna try to get pro so that whenever there's an update, then I can equip the actual item and use it. But for now, I'm just gonna let you guys know everything that's in the update and try to show you as much as I can. But make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. And join the Discord and Roblox group linked in the description. Follow me on Twitter also in the description. And check out all the other cool stuff in the description. So the next DNA was only 2,000, and then that one's only 3,000. So we got green DNA too, so now we can store 35,000, which is pretty good. Everything is kind of expensive in coins though, and coins actually... On weightlifting simulator, or I don't know why I keep calling it weightlifting simulator. Lifting simulator has more strength you can buy for Robux, but I could play for about one minute and get that much worth 50 Robux. So, that's not really a lot. But the boosts are kinda not overpowered. They're too expensive for how much they actually do. But, like, at least they're not too overpowered. So if you get a boost, then it won't make you way, way, way too overpowered to do anything. So this game is actually a little bit more balanced where if you pay then you won't get, like, that far. Unless if you buy the max amount of coins a lot of times. But... We need 29,000 for the next lightsaber, and we have 13,000. So we're... almost halfway there. This game involves just a whole bunch of uh, farming... Uh, and grinding like on weightlifting simulator but on weightlifting simulator the stuff starts getting expensive around 50,000 and both of the games require 2 million coins to get the times 2 strength but on lifting simulator it times 2's speed and a whole bunch of other stuff so let me know in the comments which game you think is better and I'm still deciding which one I like better because both of them have, they're very simulator, but both have, I mean, why did I say very simulator? Very similar, and but they have unique stuff that makes them really nice. So, yeah. And we have... 25,000 and the next lightsaber is 29,000 so we're actually pretty close which is nice so if we sell we'll have 26,000 and this hill if you guys don't know there's a leaderboard that shows the longest person on it so 275,816 seconds, so, 275,857, 275,857, divided by 60, divided by 60, divided by 24, Okay, someone was up on the hill for three entire days. I'm pretty sure about 
85,000 seconds is 24 hours, which is a whole day. So someone has either, like, glitched it, or someone literally stayed up there for an entire three days. But one of the strongest people in the server is on the hill right now. And, yeah, so, that's everything I wanted to go over in this video. Quick shout out to all my channel members. If you want to see your name on this list, all you have to do is press the join button to the left of the subscribe button. And your name will be on this list next video. So, shout out to all of them. And, yeah, see you on the next video. Bye, YouTube.